Hey friends, it's story time. Get ready. <gasps> Did I hear it was story time? Yay! Oh boy, it's story time. Yahoo! Yahoo! So sit down for story time, everybody. Yay! Story time with Mr. Michael. Hello again, my lovely humans. It is wonderful to see you again. Or if this is the first time, I am so glad to meet you. Welcome to Storytime with Mr. Michael. Now, today, I would like to ask you a question. Here's my question. What do you like to daydream about? This is a tough question, because first you have to know what daydreaming is. Now, daydreaming means what you like to imagine. So here's one thing I like to imagine. I like to imagine that I'm a bird and I can fly and I get to soar through clouds way up high in the air. That's one thing I like to imagine. I also like to imagine that I'm climbing up the biggest mountain in the world, Mount Everest or, 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 or another giant mountain or even a pretend mountain. Um, and, I, and I climb up Oh, it's so far down. Oh, that got a little scary out there. But I'm okay. Don't worry. Um, but this is a time where you could ask one of the grown-ups in your life. You could ask them what they like to imagine. And you can tell them what you like to imagine. What you like to daydream about. Hmm, daydreaming is pretty fun. Well, I'm gonna take a moment to, to check in with my body, to sort of calm myself down and, and get ready for some of our other activities. So first I'm gonna feel my feet, and I can feel my feet against the floor. Can you feel your feet against the floor? You can rock them back and forth. Mm, take a deep breath. Awesome. Well, I have a puppet that I wanted to bring out. She's brand new. And she has a little song for you today. And her name is Twiggy. Do you want to check out Twiggy? Okay. I'm going to take her off this shelf right here. Here she is. Oh, now, hello, my friends. It is just wonderful to see you. Like Mr. Michael said, my name is Twiggy, and I am a finger puppet, but I do like to hop around. Would you like to hop too? Well, I have a song about it. Let's try it out. It goes like this. Well. I hop, I hop, I love to hop. I hop, 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 and I never stop. I hop in and I hop out, and I hop, 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 hop all about. I hop, I hop, inside and out. I hop, 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 hop all about. I hop, hop, I hop here and there, and I hop, 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 hop everywhere. I hop, hop, because I'm free. Do you want to hop with me? I hop, hop, yes, it's true, and I'd love, love, love to hop with you. So why don't you just stand up for a moment, and you can hop with us. And we can hop, hop, hop here and there, and we hop, 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 hop everywhere, and we hop, hop, hop together, and we hop, 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 we're hopping forever. We hop, hop, we love to hop, and we hop, 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 but now we stop. Oh, hey, Twiggy, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Mr. Michael. And you're welcome, friends. Goodbye. That was fun. Man, do I like that Twiggy. All right, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a yoga pose. So let's get on out of here and, uh, and try that out, okay? All right, I'll be back in a few. Hey guys, I thought that we would try doing a little yoga outside. So I found this cool fountain in this little pond over here. I thought it'd be pretty cool to try it out. So we're gonna start in mountain pose with our palms facing forward. Take a deep breath in. And say, I am here and I am me. 
and then take a big giant step forward. We're going into warrior one. And you're gonna say, I can stand up for myself. And then we'll open up, reaching your arms forward, right over your shoulders. And you can say here, I can stand up for others. Have a nice bend in that front leg. And then we'll come back to a warrior one and then step back into mountain pose. And then we can do it on the other side. Step forward with that other leg, reach your arms way up high, make sure there's enough room in between your ears and your shoulders, and then open up into a warrior two. Take a deep breath here. And say, I can stand up for others. That was a car. We can come back up and step back into mountain pose. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. All right. Why don't we go do a story now? <laughs> hey guys. Okay, I've got a story today. This story is called The Rabbit's Judgment. This is a, a Korean uh, folk tale, and it's really, really great. It has a, has a great ending that I, I think you're gonna love. Okay. It starts like this. A long time ago when plants and animals could talk, a tiger was hunting in the forest. When he fell into a pit. And he couldn't get out. Help! Help me! Help! I can't get out of this pit. Well. A man was walking through the forest. When he heard the tiger in the pit. Oh, what was that? And he looked down into the pit. Oh, oh. there's a tiger down there. I'm going to get out of here. And he started to walk away when he heard the tiger's cries again. Help me. I'm in this pit. I promise I won't eat you. <laughs> Please help me. And the man looked down into the pit and thought, You promise you won't eat me? Okay, all right. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm gonna. And he put a log down into the pit. And he waited. And the tiger climbed right out of it and became face to face with the man and started to sniff the man. And the man backed away. Oh, hey, hey, you, uh, you promised you wouldn't eat me, remember? Remember that? <laughs> and he started to walk and the tiger said, Well, who do I care about a promise? I'm hungry, don't you know this? <laughs> and he got closer and closer to the man. Well, the man crept behind an old pine tree and he said, wait, 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 wait. Let's let this pine tree decide whether or not you should eat me. And the pine tree looks down at both of them. Mm, yes. And after they had told them the whole story, the pine tree gave his judgment. He said, well, tiger, I think you should eat this man. Four men cut down my people and use us for furniture, use us for firewood, and use us to build their homes. Yes, I think, I think you should eat him. The tiger was very excited. He said, well, you heard him. <laughs> and the man said, wait, 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 wait. And just then, an ox was walking by. Boom, 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 boom. And the man said, wait, let's let this ox judge. And then, and then, and then. And they told the ox the whole story. And the ox said, oh, yes, I do understand what's going on here. You, man, yes, you 
should be eaten by that tiger. For my people work day in and day out for men. And when we're old and ready to retire, what do you do? Hmm? Well, you eat us. Oh, I think you should eat him, tiger. And the man said, oh, no, no, no. And he started to run away. And the tiger got closer and closer. And the man thought, oh, no. When a bunny hopped by. Blink. 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 And the man said, tiger, wait, please. Can we just, can we just let that rabbit judge? And then, and then... Whatever he says goes. And the tiger said, eh, Fine, fine, let's let the rabbit judge. This sounds great. <laughs> and so they told the rabbit everything. Oh, oh, um, oh. The rabbit was a little confused and he started to stroke one of his long ears. Oh, um, why don't we just, uh, Go back to the place where this all started, and then, and then, and then I'll make my judgment. So they all went back to the pit, and the rabbit looked down the pit. Oh, oh, okay, that is steep. Looked over at the man. Okay, yeah, and looked over at the tiger and said, "I've got it. You man were trapped in the pit, right? And you, uh, tiger, you helped him out. Is that?" Is that what I'm getting? And they both said, no, oh, that's not what happened. And the rabbit said, oh, we'll just get into your positions then. So the tiger jumped down into the pit. <sighs> the man pulled the log out of the pit and there they waited for the judgment. Now the rabbit hopped forward, blink, blink, blink. Hmm, now I'm ready to make my judgment. So this is what I think should happen. You, tiger should remain in the pit. You, man, should go along your way, and this rabbit should hop away peacefully. <laughs> okay, goodbye. And the man said, okay. And he walked away, and the tiger sat in the pit and went, Row. Row. I like that story a lot. I like that the, the the tiger, because he broke his promise and he wasn't honest with the man and he wasn't honest with, with what he was saying, ended up back in the pit where he started. And that's I don't know where, where he may have should have stayed if uh, if he was going to act like that. So that's why I really like that story. I hope you liked it too. Um, well, I think think that's our show today. Uh, yeah, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please, why don't you hit this subscribe button. And if you'd like to see some more of our videos, check them out. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you can, give me a big thumbs up. A like goes a long way, so thank you guys so much. And uh, I care about you. Goodbye for now.